But, Joan, what do you make of the politics here? This is a pretty strong charge from Rush. I think it was backed up, uh, well, it's, it's, I guess it's in effect backed up by people like Phil Gingry, the congressman, because he came back and groveled before the altar of, of, of God, of Rush Limbaugh. What a sight. You know, <laughs> with all due respect, you with see, all he's got the, the power here. <laughs> Yes, he's licking his boots, let's be honest. Have you ever seen anything more pathetic than that display? And with all due respect to Dis Dick Armey, this is not about the tax code. This is not about smart tax policy. This is not about the stimulus. This is about the politics of resentment. And this is about Rush Limbaugh playing up Democrats against Republicans. I mean, you know, we haven't talked about the okay. most disgusting thing that Rush well, said, which well, is that no, we no, should... No, no, let me finish. No, no, this show is hardball. Joan, you have cued me. Here he is. The most disgusting thing oh. you ever said. <laughs> Good, last my week, mom would be happy I, I didn't uh, say it. Uh, thank you for cueing it. Here it is. Here's Rush Limbaugh last week. We are being told that we have to hope he succeeds, that we have to bend over, grab the ankles, bend over forward, backward, whichever, because his father was black, because this is the first black president. What, what do we make it out of here? Do we have to bend over, grab yeah. the ankles, bend over, forward, did, backward, whichever, because his father anyone, was black? <laughs> what is this? Think, what is this? Is this did uh, one person, did one Republican think of apologizing uh, to President Obama for such an obnoxious, uh, sickening thing? I mean, come on. Yes. This is what we're talking about. Oh, oh, oh give it a rest. <laughs> you know. Who's that? You're talking about. Uh, uh, I'm not going to get into that, because then we're going to have this, the, the controversy where Dick Armey's assa assaulting somebody. But this is Show serious business. Thought. This is serious business. The economy is a wreck, and it's been wrecked. It it's is. been wrecked by the Bush White House and by Republicans right. in Congress with a lot of Democratic oh. help, with a lot of help. Well, give, and yeah, now I mean, President Obama, President, Look. oh, please stop saying give it a rest. Do you have anything else to well, say? Yeah. President Obama has a yeah. mandate for change. Your people have stood in his way. They're standing in his way on Capitol Hill right now. And oh, Rush Limbaugh is making ridiculous statements, and Republicans are crawling okay. to him and groveling. Right. That's the state right. of our economy and right. our world right now, <laughs> Representative Army, and it's I am sad. so damn glad that you can never be my wife, because I surely wouldn't have to listen to that prattle from you every day. That is well, what I'm talking about. Boy, That's that makes two of us, sir. That was, that was really prattle. an outstanding comment. Is, look, you look, look, ma'am, are you kid? Uh, you, you're make, you're talking like a paid political hack here, making I, your sir? political points. Joan, as you look at this package, what's the solid piece of it that's going to help the economy recover? What's the strongest piece of the economic bill that's being passed by the House tonight. What's going to work? Yeah. I think the stimulus will work, and I think it needs to be bigger. I agree with Jim Cramer. I think that the, the issue of giving people right. who pay who pay payroll taxes but make too little to pay income taxes, I think that does stimulate the economy. It's also a matter of fairness. This is a longtime Democratic principle, Chris, to make work pay. Democrats passed welfare reform. It was very controversial with their base. It was actually a courageous and controversial thing to get people <laughs> off welfare and into the workforce. That's the income but credit, it, yeah. And it was going, yeah. yes, it was going to be backed right. with the earned income credit to help families, parents right. who make too little to pay taxes, right. actually pay for child care, pay for health care, pay for their children's clothes. And it is both a progressive and a pragmatic piece of policy. Okay. We're talking policy Joe, thank here. You. Thank you, no. Chris. First of all, let me Joe, remind thank you, you that. You know, I thought it was a very well said, and, I, and it was not prattle. Can I make one point? The Republicans passed welfare reform. Clinton vetoed it twice, and then he, when he signed it, he said it was the best idea he ever had. Dick Armey citing Bill Clinton as his economic expert. Up next, and some action here, not some, you know, paperwork reduction program here at this point. Well, we need some juice and some action, but before we get to that, I just would like to make the point that I think Dick Armey was so far out of line in the last segment with his sexist comments, and he, he owes Joan Walsh and your viewers an apology. So um, I just wanted to make that point. We're back with Bob Herbert of the New York Times and Michelle Bernard for more of the politics fix. Uh, we had a rather rough uh, back and forth. I think uh, Dick Armey, uh, I like the guy, but I think he went way overboard okay. going after uh, Joan. I mean, you got to let the other person make their point without a reference to your wife or whatever this gender aspect that shouldn't have been brought up. Anyway.